What's going, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? All right, here we go. Spring is here. Today we got a few things going on. We got to fix a fence post that's been rotted out and broken in the middle of some sections. And I got to redo a mailbox. We're going to set that in concrete, new post. And then I have to do a bathroom uh, cork job. But here we go. We got the uh, 2021 F-150 hooked up to the trailer. It's looking good. I got to clean this guy. Got all that crap all over it, all the pollen. But what you're going to need when you're doing these fence post jobs, and they're kind of remote where there's no hoses, remember, fill up a bucket of water. Get one of these tops from the depot. They're like $1.50. Seal it throw the water in the trailer and we could you know travel and it won't spill a couple bags of the 60 pound concrete mix that's all you're going to need for each post we got one post here for the fence put it in the trailer we got a post hole digger if you're not familiar with what that is it's this guy right here dig some nice holes get the post in you don't want the hole too wide but sometimes you can't help it you got rocks you got to dig them out and if you're, if you're wondering how you dig out the rocks, get yourself one of these guys. It's a pry bar, and it's got the uh, flat end. Call it a tamping bar, so you can tamp down the dirt and rock when you're finished. But that's it. We got the trailer set up, and uh, we're going to get going. So let's make sure everything is secure in here when we're driving. We don't have any uh, accidents, anything falling off the shelves. And uh, we're going to head off to the first job. Another thing, when you're planning jobs with customers, give them a 30-minute heads up. Either text them or call them. Tell them you're on your way. So, there's, you know, there's no issues. There's no cars blocking. There's, you know, you, you got to make arrangements. If there's uh, stuff in the backyard that needs to be moved before you get there, make sure it's done. Because you'll waste a lot of time. All right? So that's it. Let's uh, get ready. What we're going to do before we leave the uh, location here. We're going to check all the lights. We're going to check uh, blinkers, hazards, you know, make sure the connection is done right before we uh, head out on the road. It's always a good idea to check the tire pressure, too, if your trailer's been sitting all season. You know, things like that. All right, we'll catch you at the job soon. All right, we're here at the job. What we have here is... This one came right off. This post, this one's fine. We gotta replace this one, the bent post. A lot of crap growing on this fence. So we're gonna remove this section. We're gonna get a new post put in place and then we'll reattach the sections. So let's get what I need. We're gonna need a drill, some screwdriver bits. I'll just bring, uh, I'll bring all the bits up here with a drill. I'll bring the, uh, that post might pull right out of the ground, so we'll see. We'll bring cement, post, everything up here, and we'll take it from there. All right, the first thing you want to do is identify what bit you need. So go through your bits. Looks like a square bit's going to work. Get this in your drill or your count, your uh, impact, and get ready to take all these out. We're going to take them out on both sides, and we're going to remove this section so we can get to this post and remove that section and move it to the side. Put these aside. I'm going to use longer ones. I don't even think these are long enough. But put these aside so kids and stuff don't step on them. All right, once you get it uh, separated, slide your section over. Let it lean against the good post. So this way you have access to the broken one. We're going to remove this section also from this side. This fence is a little shot, so you got to be careful. It's kind of rotted. We're going to separate it. We're going to put this guy over to the left also. So we can open up this spot to dig and put a new post in. All right, now that we got them both separated, here's the broken post. One thing I forgot to mention is talk to the uh, customer. Make sure it's okay to go on the neighbor's property. Some neighbors, you know, they don't want you on their property. So make sure that is the case also. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. It's obviously wiggling. Let's see if I can pull it out. I can it's been set just in dirt and you can see the rest of that post so now I got to use the post hole digger try to get down in there and pull that piece out 
Okay, for some of you who have never used one of these post hole diggers, what you're going to do is you're going to lift up and you're going to you're going to hit the ground hard with it, and then you're going to spread these together, spread them apart with two hands, and then you lift up, and you're lifting up a chunk of the dirt. You understand? Down, spread, lift. Well, it turns out it's in concrete. It's not in dirt. But I got to chop at it. You got no other way. These posts have to line up every eight feet. You can't move them. So here you got to go just back and forth with the bar until it breaks. Have yourself a lot of water and patience. Always be prepared to improvise if you run into this. Customer didn't want to pay extra to take it out. This thing looks like it's at least three bags of concrete and there's a boulder underneath. So we're going to offset it just a little bit. You won't see it looking from the guy's fence, I mean from his backyard up because we got this abravite here and uh, you won't even see it. But if you look up and down, it'll be off a little bit. But it's either that or pay almost double to get that thing out of there. So I got it deep enough. I got it braced. I'm going to pour some concrete in and then we're going to replace this section from post to post. Use a couple of screws. I had to do the best I can. This stuff is rotted, so it's, it's staying on pretty good. It's pretty, pretty strong once I put that concrete in. And we're going to put this section up. I like to put my sections up. You have a big space, and then I'm going to pour the concrete and the water in and let it set. And yes, I did ruin my sweet white glasses. They're broken. So rest in peace, my man. All right, so that's it. Remove the post. You have to figure there's obstructions. Let the customer know there's extra charges. If you do run into this stuff, don't take it for anybody's word. And uh, have a talk with them. He's a cool guy. We offset it a little bit. We're going to set it in concrete. And uh, this side of the fence we're going to leave. We're not cleaning this up. This is the neighbor's side. And that's it. That's how you replace a fence post. So let me get to it, and you'll see the finished product. All right, once you get the post in and you set the two sections, I mean, you can see the rot I'm dealing with. Find some meat, two screws at least per section. And we're gonna we bring this up. Remember the water, we have it on site because we're nowhere as near a hose. Um, and you can see all the crap that was growing on this fence. The fence is rotted, like the bottom. You're not you're gonna have a space. They could put uh we're gonna cover this up with the uh, topsoil after the concrete. And that'll be it. I mean, you, that space there, you can put a one by if you want on the back side. It's up to them. But this is it. It'll be nice and strong and complete this uh, section here. Even that one bows in a little bit. All right. So that's how you replace a rotted fence post. Take it out, put one section to the left, one to the right. Get your hole ready. Reconnect, reconnect. Make sure it's nice and plumb. Throw some rocks in there to uh, brace it. We're gonna open up this bag, very simple, dump it in, fill it up with water, mix it a little bit with the uh, post hole digger or the uh, my, uh, my pole, my tamping bar, and that'll be it. Let it sit overnight, we'll be good to go. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, what do we gotta do now? Yo, Sonny. Sonny, you back there? Sonny, are you in there? You in there with the fox? Sonny. One other thing before I leave, um, leave you on this video. Just try to leave it nice and neat at the bottom, underneath this concrete. Pitch the concrete away from the 4x4, like a pyramid so the water doesn't sit and rot like the last one. You know, sometimes you could set these just in rock and dirt with a tamping bar, especially when you're in a, on a line post, meaning you're in the middle of a, a run. Uh, corner posts, they need a lot of support, so you're going to concrete co corner post, but not too bad. It looks pretty good. It's obviously a different color because it is fresh, but within 24 hours, it's pretty solid now. Pushing on it, 24 hours, it'll be even more sturdy. So that's it. Uh, subscribe, share, and like if this video helped you. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Let's see what it looks like. Like I told you, we have bushes. You can't even see the post. So if you have to offset something five, six, seven inches, you really can't tell. All right, we'll take care. We'll catch you on the next one. Yes, yeah, Sonny. Yo, Sonny. Sonny.
Down there. No. Down here. Sunny. Dead. Catch you on the next one, right?